Fantastic comes with several presets. You can access the presets drop-down menus by selecting the title element in the timeline and they will be available at the bottom area of the viewer window. There are several preset menus. The first one provides complete setups for the entire animation. This is a general preset. When you select one of these presets, you will see the entire element being animated from the beginning to the end. From this menu, you can also go back to the default state of no animation. The other preset menus are related to the specific parts of what happens in a normal 3D text animation. There is a preset menu for only the start of the animation. Another one for the screen position when the text lands in the viewer window as well as any animation effects while the element is in the screen position. Another for the final end position to finish with the animation. And a special preset for the animation of the camera in the 3D environment. These presets correspond to the three key moments in any animation. To visually understand where the three key moments are in the animation, you need to enable the OSC guides. Now we can see the on-screen timeline that shows color-coded information. The yellow dot corresponds to the start position. The blue dots connected with a blue line correspond to the screen position and its related effects. The red dot at the end corresponds to the end position. By understanding this, now you can select a preset for the section that you want to change. For example, if you choose one of the options from the Start presets, you will notice that only the Start position is now updated with the new animation, and it goes from the Start to the default screen position and continues to the default end position. At any time, you can add a preset to any other part of the animation. If you position the timeline marker at the end of the length of the element, the on-screen timeline shows the same approximate location. To see how the preset changes the end position, go to the presets for the end and select one of the available options. I am going to select the preset camera. This one will fly the text towards the camera at the end. If I play back the animation now, the text comes from the right side in perspective, lands in the screen position in its default location, and goes off at the end towards the camera. At this point, you can make additional changes by selecting a preset for the screen position if you want. I can choose the bottom right preset in here. Now, my animation starts just like before from the right in perspective, but now it lands in the screen position I indicated, and at the end it goes off towards the camera. Next, select the default position for the screen position. Additionally, you can add a custom animation when the text is in the screen position. This is an option that can be selected in the effects presets. The animation will look exactly as before, but this time the text is distorted when it is in the screen position, adding another level of animation to the whole piece. As you can see, you can mix, match, add or remove different animation behaviors to any section of the important moments in the animation. The presets will help you customize your animation with a simple click and selection of your favorite preset. When you are ready to create your own presets, it is recommended that you start fresh from the start by resetting the default positions. Keep in mind that your timeline marker needs to be in the corresponding area of the key moment that you are going to modify. In this example, I am positioned at the screen position and I can see the on-screen timeline indicates exactly that. Next, you need to enable the parameters that correspond to the section that you want to modify. From the menu options, select the screen position and effects to display the parameters. Scroll down to see the parameters. 
Whenever you make any modifications in the parameters, the text should be also modified in the viewer window. Keep in mind that only those parameters with a dot in front of their name will be saved as presets, and usually they are the main position and orientation of the elements. Once you are happy with the new setup, you can save it under the preset drop-down menu that corresponds to the section you just modified, and it will be available the next time you quit and reopen Final Cut Pro 10.